Hello guys, welcome back in my channel. I'm gonna show you today how to flash the system of name Koriki, which is like Bato Serra Light on RG35XX Plus. Age version also have the same. We've got here a page which one we need to open it, link on description. Then we scroll in down up to the end and we've got Bato Serra H35XX Plus, the version from 26th of January is brand new version, just to download it. And I will come back when this will be ready. Okay, we can do something else. I've got brand new card. I need to format that card as uh, XFAT. One for me just format rg35xx plus that's the volume name for xfat format job done straight away we can come back it's still downloading few seconds and this will be done looks like everything is just downloaded now the next step we need to open the program of the name Balena either or each other, whatever someone call. <laughs> okay, just link on description. Just go there. Flash from file. It's mean we need to find that image which one we downloaded. Downloads. Okay, downloads is here. That's what we downloaded now. Click twice on this. Select target. It will be our. Uh, 32 gigabytes card which one I've got that's my one at this moment select flash yes and system just decompressing at this moment and after we'll flash that card flashing now I will speed it up video until this is finished the system almost finished flashing then after that he will check it if it's everything fine it's all together flashing plus validating is about four minutes time and need to be completed successfully as we see flash is completed at this moment we unplug that uh, micro usb from our pc and we go into our rg35xx plus or h depends what you've got okay we came back here we've got our device we need to plug that into the first port on the top always just put the wrong side <laughs> uh, i will boot up first time without cards without games card i mean Oh, we've got already Koriki screen. This normally taken a little bit longer when you put it up the first time because you need to download it, everything to this uh, particular device. Just need a little bit patience, guys. There you go, guys. Okay, now I will put the games card and reboot this system system again. Okay, shut down. Let me plug in this second card. Oh, it show up the games. Mm. 
mind you, everything is, seems work fine. Finally, I've got some more open system than the original from Unburnic, and I really like it. I'm not gonna lie you. Okay, guys, we will see if it's working everything fine on it. Just for example, need for speed shift. Menu is just jump to PPS, SPP. All fine. We'll see. This game working or not? Let me put FPS to see how it is working here. FPS counter. Oh, very tiny. We don't want music. Okay, 25, 30 FPS, 29, oh! It's quite smooth. Way faster than on R36S. I was testing out today, down there is about 20. I know what I need to do. Keep GPU read backs. I realize when you put this one on this game is always going smooth. When you haven't got this one, every few seconds is just slow down to 15 FPS. Now you've got 30 FPS non-stop. Okay. I just guys show you this is working absolutely fine is no problem I like the community custom firmware because it's just opening this device properly and yeah it's, it's very nice I like it much more than his original system what we're we gonna put this card onto this device it will work or not I'm really interesting about that let me see Shut down. All right. Let me take this off. I always forgot where is the power button. Oh, that screen is messed. Really? That's really nice. If you like sometimes play this one and that one and you've got both of them, you can just swap the card. As you see, you can swap the card in between the, those two and it's working absolutely fine without the problem. Yeah, guys. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Hopefully I help some people with this. This is quite easy, but some people just have no knowledge with those devices. Cheers guys and see you tomorrow with some gameplays.